Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we have summarized the top 10 romance movies of 2023. So, let's get started the list. Number 1. Beautiful Disaster. Director, Roger Cumble. Bad boy Travis is just what freshman Abby needs and wants to avoid. He spends his nights fighting in underground boxing matches and his days as the ultimate college campus charmer. But Abby wants nothing to do with Travis, intrigued by Abby's resistance to his attraction. Travis offers her a simple bet. If he loses his next fight, he must be free for a month. If he wins, Abby will have to live in his apartment for the same amount of time. Number 2. Love Again. Director, Jim Strauss. As Mira mourns the death of her fiancé, she sends romantic text messages to his cell phone number. She is not aware that the mobile phone number has been reassigned to the work number of the journalist Rob Burns. Rob is amazed at the honest messages and wants to get to know this woman. When he gets the chance to meet Celine Dion, he asks her help to win over Mira. Number 3. Ghosted. Director, Dexter Fletcher. Cole's unassuming life takes a sudden turn when he meets the enigmatic Sadie, drawn to her captivating persona. He soon discovers that she's a covert operative with a dangerous mission to save the world. Before they can even contemplate a second date, Cole and Sadie are swept away on an international adventure fraught with peril, as a hopeless romantic who lives on a picturesque farm in Washington. Cole is determined to win Sadie's affections. Number 4. Culpa Mia. Director, Domingo Gonzalez. Noah must leave his city, boyfriend and friends to move to the mansion of William Leister, the brand new and rich husband of his mother Rafaela. On the other hand, at 17 years old, proud and independent, Noah resists living in a mansion surrounded by luxury. There she meets Nick, her new stepbrother, and the clash of her strong personalities is evident from the very first moment. Number 5. A Beautiful Life. Director, Mehdi Avas. Elliot, a young fisherman with an extraordinary voice, gets the chance of a lifetime when he is discovered by the successful high-profile music manager, Suzanne. Suzanne soon pairs Elliot with her estranged daughter and music producer, Lily, on his way to becoming a star. Struggles from the past threaten not only his big breakthrough, but also the budding love with Lily. Number 6. Kindling. Director, Connor O'Hara. Inspired by true events, Kindling follows a group of young men who return to their hometown to turn their friend Sid's final summer into a celebration of life and friendship. Facing mortality, Sid wants to create a legacy and be remembered forever. With his obsession for astronomy and the atmosphere, he comes up with a plan to bring everyone together and make this summer unforgettable. He gives each boy a category. Love, home, friends, family and location, and asks them to find an item that connects them all with the word they've been given. Number 7. La Corriente. Director, Jesus Lloveras. Spending their time on the island of Ibiza, these souls deal with their griefs differently, whereas Julio abandoned his career as a doctor to dedicate himself to a simple life on the island. His friend from school Carlos remains reticent to talk about his life. Alba, on the other hand, readily opens up about her loss, even sharing to her newfound friend that her stay in Ibiza is a means to get away and forget the pain. Number 8. A Picture of Her. Director, Michael Robison. Jake was once an idealistic photographer full of dreams of people buying his photos for their art. But when he published a book of artful landscape photographs, he sold only five copies, three of them to his mother, He's still a photographer, but now lives as a jaded paparazzo with the occasional legal photo spread for a Los Angeles weekly. During one of his respectable assignments, he takes a beautiful photo of a beautiful girl, Beth, smelling a rose and it goes viral. Number 9. See You on Venus. Director, Joaquin Lamas. 18-year-old orphan girl Mia is dying and wants to travel to Europe to find her biological mother. She meets the kind-hearted Kyle who is weighed down by the guilt of a fatal accident. Mia manages to convince him to accompany her on her trip to Spain. During their journey through picturesque towns, they begin to have feelings for each other and discover that what matters is not who gave you life,
but what you decide to do with it. Number 10. Challengers. Director, Luca Guadagnino. Tashi Duncan is a former tennis star turned coach. She is a strong woman who can hold her own both on and off the tennis court and is married to Art, a tennis champion who is going through a somewhat lesser period. Tashi's efforts to rehabilitate her husband take a surprising turn when he finds himself up against the disenfranchised Patrick, his former best friend and Tashi's ex, then, when issues from their past lead to tensions running high. Tashi is forced to wonder what price will have to be paid for winning. 